Hey, Lisa, how you doing? Good, how are you doing, Ben? I'm not bad. So, we first met your group back in 2014 at South by Southwest. How was it being at that festival and also just the crowd's reaction from first hearing you for the first time? Yeah, I mean, South by was the first time we ever ventured into the United States. So, we didn't know what to expect when we were playing it. And it was, you know, a pretty crazy festival where every, you know, every band is running around trying to play 10 shows at once and so but we we went and did our thing it was um, it was fun it was a good introduction to america you know and you guys you blew up but you blew up fast the band started in 2013 2014 you're at south by and 2015 you're getting praise from rock legends basically how did the band just grow in such a fast pace I thought you would have that answer for me, because <laughs> I certainly don't know it. Um, we've just done what we've always like loved to do, which is write music and play music together. And we've, we've got the right team around us and with, you know, who are, who are making things happen. And, you know, things have just grown quite quite rapidly for us. And to have the, the support from so many people is, is amazing. You do. You really do. You have Dave Grohl, who, of course, has talked about you so much. Jimmy Page has talked about you. Howard stern how does that make you feel is it big shoes you kind of think to fill everyone thinking all these amazing things not really it's like we've not done anything different it's just that other people have recognized what we're doing and then also our fans and enjoying it so there's been no pressure and no nothing like that towards those kind of people now your album it's got a very funky sound to it but it also has that classic rock feel who are the influences on your band the main influence for me is mike because he, he's the one doing most of the magic. But I think we're, we're inspired by um, just playing together. We have so much fun. We weren't trying to copy anyone or copy anyone's sound. We were just doing what we enjoyed and what we felt was fun to play, I guess. And you, of course, are from England, but, of course, you're going to be touring in America. What's the difference, basically, between touring here when you're doing tours like Coachella and South By and going back home to England? Yeah, it's still very different. Like, we uh, take every, every show is our first show again. We go out there with the mind to have a good time with everyone and no matter who's there, how many people are there, if it's a festival, if it's our own show, we'll, we're just going to make the, the best out of our whatever situation we're in. Are there any bands out there right now that you enjoy that you especially like to play with or listen to? So many. Like there's The bands that I would say would probably not be bands that we would play with, I guess. I mean, uh, I would love to play a show with Queens of the Stone Age or Black Sabbath or those kind of bands but, but there's also bands that and artists that I really enjoy at the moment which kind of wouldn't really would our fans be different our audiences would be completely different but they're, they're great for it for example um, the band Jungle absolutely fantastic band from England and they're very funky and, and cool you've heard of course Gene Simmons comment about saying rock is dead and then Dave Grohl came out yeah. and kind of said that Royal Blood is here to save rock and roll what do you think about the state of rock music the way it is today uh, I think yeah, rock music has had such a pressure on it to be revived or die or be living again where really it's not going anywhere I mean I mean, it's a genre of music. It's not like anyone's that concerned that jazz is dying, right? Oh, yeah. Why is everyone so concerned that, that rock and roll is dying? I'm not sure. Maybe it's the passion between the people behind it. But yeah, it's not going anywhere. So it's authentic music. It, it's real. It, it's made by real people when anyone can make it. You are going to go back out with the Foo Fighters. How has it been working with Dave Grohl? I saw a picture on your Facebook. I think you put it up yesterday of you guys pushing him with his little cast on his leg. Oh, uh, yeah. He's such a great person to be around. He's inspiring. You know, he's the whole band are, though. It's, it's you know, not not just him, like the whole crew and the whole Foo Fighters team are so great with us and it's just a big family for them, I guess. Has he given you any tips or good knowledge or anyone in the band too? They're all just legends of rock music. Yeah, I mean, just watching them play every night is the, the best tip of them all. That's, that's what they do and that's what they do best. So just watching that is inspiring altogether. But they're just good dudes and they, they're not putting any pressure on us. They're just enjoying what we do and very encouraging and have lots of stuff. For us. Well, we are a heavily rotating Little Monster. Can you give us a little background on what the song is about? I don't really remember writing this song. When I play it, I still don't remember how it came together. But it was done in a batch of songs, and I remember it being done quite quickly. 
I don't know really what it's about. I could, would have probably be the best one to tell you about it. It's very <laughs> complex, I think. We've had a few singles, Out of the Black, Figure It Out, Little Monster. What is the next song we can expect to hear on air? Well, you can play whatever song you want to, right? I, I mean, I play the whole CD, but that's my car. Okay, well, that's your choice. You can listen to whatever you want to listen to a bars. If you I, want to put it on the radio, don't do it. I personally, my favorite song is Loose Change. So I would pick that as my next single. We would like that to be a single as well. There's only so many songs that can be singles. Have you started writing for the next album? We're, yeah, we're just starting to write for the next album. We haven't written any songs. We've just written, um, just drawn pictures, really, for it. <laughs> we'll see what we'll see what happens with that. How long do you think till we can get a new album? Like a year from now, two years, or just no timeline? I think we're going to get a new album when we're happy that we've written a new album. That seems pretty fair. Well, we're excited because you've actually never yeah. performed in El Paso before, and your first show is going to be in September out here before you go to Austin City Limits. Where do you like to play the most? Because oh, we'll let you know right now, El Paso, it is hot as hell out here. Is there anything you like to perform in mostly when it's nice and cool outside? You're not a big fan of rain or... Uh, we're, we're up for, we're up for the adventure of whatever life brings at us. So if it's rain, shine, wind, snow, whatever, we're, we're gonna still do it. But it was funny how you should say that. Last year on tour, we actually stopped off in El Paso for our, um, it was our tech's birthday, and we went to a great Mexican restaurant and drank lots of tequila and got very, very silly. What restaurant so were we you have at? Memories of El Paso. I can't remember. I was too drunk. <laughs> Well, maybe you can repeat that when you come out here. We'll get you nice and drunk before you have to go do Austin City Limits. That sounds good. <laughs>